Gaffer Lee Stevenson has made his way to Alfred in town on a month's loan deal. What's your reasoning behind this latest move? Uh, well, basically, we, we, we both put our heads together. Um, you know, he's, he's just come back from injury. He's not played a lot of football this season. Uh, and I think uh, Lee coming had a chat with me. Um, I think Lee's desperate to, to really show the Mansfield Town fans um, the real him. Uh, you know, played in a behind closed doors game last night. Uh, and I, I, he, he felt that he, he wasn't at the races in terms of his, his sharpness, his, his fitness. Uh, so it was, um, we got our heads together. N- Nicky Lord uh, gave me a call and, and says, uh, you know, can, can I take him for a month? So uh, it was a hard one, uh, you know, because, you know, um, you know, I want the lad to be in and around our first team, but uh, he needs sharpness, he needs match fitness. Uh, and he's, he's not going to get that just playing these behind closed doors games in his real proper competitive football. So uh, we've let him go out on loan. Um, you know, he's gonna, I think he's in the month he's got he's got two or three games, uh, maybe four, um, that, he, that he's going to play for Alfreton. Um, and I think the lad's happy with that, that he can come back and, and really show the Mansfield Town fans what, what he's about. I imagine there were other clubs after him trying to take him on loan, as they were in the summer, trying to sign him permanently. Um, so why did you choose Alfreton as the correct destination for Lee? Well, I think Lee's quite close to one or two of their players. Uh, it's a locality. Um, you know, I know we've got Alverton coming up against us uh, in a couple of weeks, but uh, you know he won't be playing against us, and he, and he won't be FA Cup tied. You know, I've had numerous phone calls about Lee, and I've I've I've, I've turned them all down, if I'm honest, because um, he's got a major part to play at this football club. But you know, when, when the lad knocks on your door and, and he feels as though he's not doing himself justice, you really have to seriously start and think about uh, the situation. And um, although I've had to make a decision for, for Mansfield Town Football Club, I think it's in both Mansfield's and, and the lad's interest that he goes away and gets some real competitive games. You know, I think the lad's, the lad's lost a little bit of his spark of late. Um, and, uh, you know, I just think, uh, you know, it'll, it'll benefit us um, after this month with him coming back fresh. Um, you know, a little bit of a, uh, you know... Uh, a fresh impetus, uh, you know, and uh, you know we, we get a very good player that, that, that's fully fit and, and, and fully sharp. So from that long term, he is in your future plans. Definitely, uh, you know, I said right from the start. You know, it sort of echoed last season when I brought Lee to, to Eastwood. Uh, Lee didn't play for the first ten games and ended up finishing with with thirty five goals. You know, I'm, I'm having to sort of prepare and, and, and make sure we're you know the the, the team and, and the squad are prepared for for everything that comes at us this season. Um, and, and saying that, you know, I don't really want Lee going out on loan, but I think it's in the best interest of, of, of this club that he, he comes back um, fit and hungry and, and ready re- ready to play in our first team. Because, like I say, there's going to be some twists and turns this season, and we, we've got to be we've got to be in a position where you know we've we've got people that are match fit just coming off, um, what well, coming in, into the into the side from the squad. In terms of backup uh, throughout your squad. As Lee has now left the club for the short term, along with Adam Smith, does this perhaps leave you short in attacking options in midfield? Not really. We get Briscoe back Saturday. Um, Toddy, I think, has been playing really well. Uh, Linden, we've still got Linden there. Uh, we've still got people like Paul Bolin. Um, the, squ- the squad's strong at the minute. Um, I've had to make a, it was a really tough decision with, with, with Lee Stevenson because, you know, I actually do admit that if we get one or two injuries, that the, the squad's not massive. But the, the, the actual decision was: Do I sit here um, with a player who? And w- at what point of the decision do we do we, you know, make a decision on throwing him in? Um, is he going to do himself justice? Is he going to have an adverse effect on the lad? Um, you know, so I've made a I think what we call it a brave decision, but I think it's a, it's a decision that um, would be in the best interest of both parties, the club and and, and Lee Stevenson. So. Temporarily, will you be looking to replace Lee for the month by way of a loan signing or a non-contract signing? Uh, I've, got, I've got a few irons in the fires uh, in terms of midfielders, but uh, as of yet, um, the squad I've got for my, my head on Saturday um, doesn't need it. We don't, we don't need anyone bringing in. Um, you know, there, there was a, uh, it was a, you know, it was a hard decision to let to let Steve-O go, and probably Steve would have been in the squad on Saturday, probably been on the bench. But like I say we've got Briscoe back. Uh, we've got Anthony Nails coming back from suspension soon. Uh, let's say Toddy's Toddy's doing well. Um, you know we've got Paul Boland, so we've got plenty of bodies. Um, I just want to make sure that when when Lee Stevens does play for this first team, yeah, that the, the Mansfield uh, fans see see the true the true Lee Stevenson. And to do that, I've had to make a tough decision. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.